How's it going everybody? Welcome back to my C Sharp programming series. Today we're going to be taking a look at group boxes and panels. Um, basically group boxes and panels will, they have the ability to arrange controls on a GUI. Um, group boxes and panels are typically used to group several controls of similar functionality or other controls that are related um, within a GUI. All of the controls in a group box or panel will move together when the group box or panel is moved. So if we were to basically resize this, the controls would move with it. Um, of course, we'd have to we need to run that first and when we resize it, see the controls kind of go with it there. Um, <clears throat> uh, furthermore, group boxes and panels, uh, they can also be used to show or hide a set of controls at once. And when you modify the container's visible property, it toggles the visibility of all the controls within it. Um, find my, here's our visible property right here. Okay. Um, the biggest primary difference between these two controls is that group boxes can display a caption in the form of text like you see here, the main group box and um, they do not include scroll bars where as a panel here has our scroll bar and it does not contain a caption. Um, group boxes have thin borders by default and panels can be set so that they also have borders by changing the border style property which is I think it's at the top here. Uh, border style where is it? Where are you? could probably find this easier if I listed them A to Z. And I don't see it. Wow. I know. Um, <laughs> okay, maybe let's let's go back. Okay, hold on. I got I got to find this border style because I mentioned it and I know that there is a way to um, oh there we are yeah because I was I had the main group box so you got to be careful with that yeah the border style property is only available on the panel I should have mentioned that um, <clears throat> so to create a group box we basically go up here to all our controls a group box is a set of form of containers so you just drag it onto there and do the same with the panel drag it there I've, I've already done that of course but um, then you can basically resize the panel or group box. Whoops, what's going on here? I don't want that one. Um, make sure I don't have any more. And you can resize it if you want. You know, however, however big you want to make it. And um, the same with the panel. Um, again, if you can increase it, you can see the, the remainder of the right button there. Um, to enable the scroll bars on the panel, you need to set the auto scroll property to true, which is, whoops, um, border style, auto scroll, where is my auto scroll? Right here. Set this property to true, it's, it's false by default. Um, so basically, if the panel is resized and cannot display all of its controls, the scroll bars will appear. Um, so again, we can increase this and fully dis disable the scroll bar, or we can enable the scroll bar by shrinking it. Um, the scroll bars can be used to view all the controls in the panel, and both at design time and at execution time. Um, so that's pretty much the gist of panels and group boxes. Um, I've modified our our, um, our program here. Basically each click button, each button has a click event um, that changes the the label text, hello, it tells just which button basically was pressed. And I do have a label here. Um, it doesn't have anything in it. It's kind of hard to see so you can just kind of mouse over a square and it will be highlighted because I d um, have no text inside of it. So when we go ahead and run this and make, make sure you um, anchor everything as well so basically you can run it and click the buttons it tells you hello was pressed goodbye left and right okay um, 
now if we were to resize that everything will be anchored and again it still has the same functionality and you know everything is um, symmetrical I'm kind of uh, OCD about that so that's all I wanted to cover for today group boxes and panels um, thank you guys for watching please rate comment and subscribe and I hope to see you for my next video